All right, y'all, Drew Lentz, the wireless nerd today. Trackside in the pit at the Charlotte Coca-Cola 600. Hanging out here, setting up some Euro Wi-Fi in the pit. That's right, we're gonna be running this live during a NASCAR race, one of the most RF contentious environments you can think of, but we're setting it up with some great Euro Wi-Fi. This is gonna be great. We're gonna have a great day out here at the races. So this is my office for the day. Sitting up here in the pit box, right above the pit, where Josh Berry and the 21 car from Team Penske and Wood Brothers Racing is gonna be cruising through. Now our job was to figure out how to get the best Wi-Fi, there it is over there, that I could be setting up for this entire environment. So let's take a look at what I see here. All right, the old fancy Eka House Sidekick 2 with the nice Waves logo. Let's see what I see in five gigahertz. Oh man. 5 gig is looking pretty trash right there. Continuous transmitter, continuous transmitter. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. So, every one of these boxes that's out here, I'm sitting in position number six out of about 40, and every one of these boxes has their own network. A lot of them are using Starlink. If you look down the air there, you can see that a lot of people have Starlink tied in, but there's a connection that the track provides, and that track gives them access to about 100, 150 megabit per second, somewhere around there. I've got some Euro devices that I've installed here, and that's hooking me up with about 100 megabit, 150 megabit worth of Wi-Fi. So now that we know the spectrum's pretty jacked up, let's see what 2.4 looks like. There we go, 2.4. Oh boy, oh boy. 2.4's not looking good. What about six gig? Six gig is pretty empty right now, but that's for the time being, because you're gonna have a lot of camera crews out here, especially right here down the pit area. Lots of camera crews running back and forth. So we'll see what that looks like during the race. All right, so I'm back from the races. It was a great time that we had out there. We spent some time in the pit. We went back into the haulers, went out into the audience. We got to see the network from every side. Now, during the race time, we saw incredible spectrum utilization. It was insane. But that is one of the most RF contentious environments I've ever been in. The equipment performed well. We got to see it work. I was sitting there streaming the in-car video dash cam live on Max as I was sitting in the pit box watching the race happen in front of me. It was really neat to see that and have both of those perspectives. The fan experience at NASCAR is really, really great. And I'm glad that I got to be a part of providing the Wi-Fi in the pit area, not only for the team, for the guests and the people that were hanging out around the area. It was really neat to be a part of that. But what an incredible experience. We got to spend time with, you know, obviously Team Eero. We got to spend time with Wood Brothers Racing, with Team Penske, with Josh Berry and the 21 car out there. What a phenomenal weekend. We had a great time in Charlotte. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks for watching.